Hi guys, it's 360 Geek, and today I have a Photoshop tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to make a security camera effect in a Photoshop. So today I'll show you what I mean. So basically, I took a picture and this picture, and I applied some effects, and I got this uh, like a realistic camera with all the dots and everything and today I'm going to show you how so you can do it with any picture I did it with my profile picture on Facebook but today I'm going to show you in this example a room and and let's start uh, sorry I forgot all the all the parts you need all the colors everything will put I'll put in the description for easy copy and paste and I'll put this uh, this picture so let's start so first what you need to go is go to filter and go to lens correction to make this lens effect uh, so the second thing you need to go is custom and change the remover uh, whatever it is to minus 27 use a good effect so red run uh put that at um let's say if, let me take it to minus 100 it looks good so i'm not going to touch the green but i will touch the blue and yellow and i'll put it i know about okay about there let's put it on the straight number for, it's easier for you and amount I'll put a, I put amount on minus 100 and the light on plus 67 so I think it's it, it looks good with all this shadowing and you can change these effects uh, so it's pretty easy you just need to get I didn't apply this effect so strong here as you can see it's not that oval but okay next thing we need to do is put an adjustment layer so adjustment layer you can find in here layer but if you have this adjustment panel if you don't have it go to view adjustments so you go to adjustment panel and this the last uh, the second from the back is create a, a gradient map so I'll create a gradient map and I'll change the color sorry my mistake so this I'll put it like this so I'll put this color not straight white but I'll put it EEF 3E7 so it gives great effect so so you guys have to stop the video but I'll come back shortly sorry guys my friend had a problem on the Facebook so I needed to help him so now uh, what you need to do is make a new layer and call it whatever you I'm not going to change the name and press the D button on the keyboard so that will return the colors into default so if let's say something is set so when you press D it turns the color to the default and now go to filter filter render and uh, go to clouds so you can press ctrl F for a few times so it gets uh, different clouds and now go to filter pixelate and this Muzero tint and set it into fine dots not mid dots fine dots and that's it for now set it to soft light oh, let's see soft light and reduce the opacity to let's see mm, the strong to around 20 and go to select that layer and go to filter blur gaussian blur and say it to one so you get this nice effect 
so uh, what we need to do is next is add a hue and saturation adjustment layer so that layer will be applied to this to these dots you can see so do you see how these dots make a difference so we'll apply that to that so go to where sorry I cannot see hue and saturation and put a uh, create a clipping mask so it applies to the layer and here uh, I got the best effects at 95 96 here set to 7 18 17 and here you just do it with a handle what you like this okay so that's you finish your picture now to add those detail record date and time so i'll make a new folder let's call it here uh and inside i'll make uh go here to the pen tool you can see pen tool and check here so go to the rectangle tool set color to uh, to black and make a fine box like this and set that to 50% as it set here so it will be like this and you set it to 50% and rasterize layer there so make a new layer again choose here full red color go again to the pen tool but now to the elliptical tool hold shift to make a real circle and red so go here press control r for rulers and pull one to the middle so align this so it's in the middle move it this way and that's that so now about the text the text just write the text in a white color you can see and it should be uh like 10 points so it's a small font so you can get it bigger so it can be in pixels so for example right and rasterize this layer that's very important and do you see how uh, it's not clear that's the point it's not the point to get a clear text but to get this so this is the effect we wanted so you can duplicate this still uh, so duplicate this box put it move it here and put a new text so let's put 10 so I'll put uh, this this time right now one uh, and it's six, 47 seconds and it's a.m. now go to rasterize type So it will blend in there. Put a little bit down. You have the rulers. I'm just doing it quick. And that same effect for the date. Except you don't need a black box. So put uh, today's date 6th, 29th, 2011. Latest video. So I'll put it in this corner. Uh, sorry, I didn't rasterize the wire, so you do see you don't get the full. Sorry, oh, sh sorry. So, rasterize type. can put it down and 
that's that. So basically, you do see you got the same picture, but and okay. Oh, I forgot one thing that will make this picture look so much better, and it's very good. So sorry. Sorry. So sorry I had tried something on Steam. So now I forgot one thing. So you go uh press control new so control N and make a four point four transparent layer transparent picture and zoom in and take take a pencil tool, not a brush tool, a pencil tool with a white cover and cover the two rows. So do not and go to control define pattern and okay I have it already so that's it now create a new layer there put it there sorry Great. so now go to the clone stamp tool and go pattern stamp tool and take a big brush and here select your pattern so I have a few pattern com carbon pattern but select this one with white and just sorry and, and apply that pattern and apply that pattern to this layer so if you can see I applied it and so we'll get this effect and now I'll put this to soft light and I'll lower the opacity to 50 and uh, now the hue saturation should be clipped onto that layer so that's the full effect thanks for watching and subscribe <laughs>